This is Morgan. She's an Army veteran and a mom of two. This is her at 255 pounds. Morgan says she used to eat in secret, in her car, and late at night. But those days are over. Y'all want to see what she looks like today? Woo! Yeah! Morgan! Get come on out, out here! here. You look wonderful. Thank you. I Amazing. feel wonderful. Thank you look you. incredible. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Oh, I yes. appreciate that. Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Absolutely. So, Morgan, how much weight did you lose? I lost a total of 128 pounds with the help of Nutrisystem. Wow. It's amazing considering my highest weight was 255 pounds, so I feel great. It's amazing. And, and you yeah. used to eat, you used to, used to eat late at night and used to kind of sneak food, right? I did. Um, I can remember going to get pizza, you know, for family night with the kids, and I would go pick up a large pizza and I would get breadsticks. And I just remember eating the breadsticks, all of them, on the way home, and then mm -hmm. taking that trash and throwing it away and just taking in that large pizza to eat. Yeah, it was, it was rough. That's wild. You say weight was never an issue growing up, right? No, I was always very active. You know, I was athletic build. Mm -hmm. I played sports. Um, I played soccer in high school, played lacrosse in college. Um, and in fact, I served nearly six years on active duty in the Army. So it was very regimented. Fitness was a part of my job. It's something I had to do. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a struggle for me. Yeah. at that time. You had that structure. Very structured. Yeah. But the transition out of the military for me was hard. You know, I, yeah. after six years of serving and being a military leader, mm -hmm. um, I got out. I was pregnant with my son, and I gained a lot of weight during that pregnancy. I gained almost 80 pounds. And then when he was six months old, um, I was pregnant with my daughter, and mm -hmm. I gained even more weight. I hadn't lost it. And so I just lost myself during those years, and it was hard. Do you now give them maternal guilt for doing that to you? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but it's really that time that I found myself. You know, I, I think it's hard as a new mom, especially if you've had a career and you transition to being stay at home. You know, um, I didn't know how to adapt in that situation. Um, I didn't realize that I could make myself a priority, and that was the biggest thing. I was giving to everyone else and not focusing time on me, and yeah. that's hard transition to make. Absolutely. Yeah. How do you maintain the weight loss? I used Nutrisystem, which gave me the structure that I needed to be successful with my weight loss. I still enjoyed some of my favorite foods, so I still had pizza, but it's portion controlled. Um, and then on top of that, uh, getting out there and getting in the gym, finding an outlet. That is wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. So amazing. How has um, losing the weight, how has it changed your life? Oh, it's changed absolutely everything. Um, I remember there was a picture of myself that I saw from behind where I didn't recognize myself. I was holding my son, and, um, and it was that moment that I realized that I had to do something. Like, I had missed out on my son's life. I was the mom that didn't want to take pictures. I deleted pictures. Sorry, it's emotional. Yeah. Um, I wasn't there for his life, and I was pregnant with my daughter, and I knew that, that I was going to be present for her life. I knew that they were going to see the military leader, the strong, confident person that I'd always been that was just hiding for a few years. Um, and that's when I made the decision that when she was born, I was going to do something for me. And they're my motivation for absolutely everything that I do. And they come with me to the gym. And they're the reason I make healthy decisions. When I made that switch mentally, my life has changed. So. Amazing. And imagine that's the first step. <laughs> absolutely. Thank you, Morgan. That was Thank awesome. You. We appreciate yeah. you being Thank here. You that's inspiring. I got to give seriously. you a hug. Uh, you a Morgan's oh. featured in People Magazine's Half Their Size Thank Issue. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Morgan, very much. Amazing. Obesity runs in the family. At age 20, she weighed more than 350 pounds. She lived on nearly nothing but fried foods and ate her first salad just two years ago. This was Jessica then. You guys ready to see Jessica? Yeah. Come on out here, darling. Woo! Whoa! Hi, Jessica. Hi. You look Hi, great. Darling. Thank you. So Thanks how, for being here. How much weight Thank have you lost? You. I've lost over 170 pounds um, through Ooh. diet and exercise. It's amazing. <laughs> what was the turning point for you? I was overweight my whole life. Um, I just got sick of feeling lazy and tired and my feet always aching until one day I just got up and started walking. There was a point where I laid in bed for two months straight, just binge watching my Netflix shows and going mm -hmm. to work and eating, and that's all I did. I didn't want to go out. Uh, I just wanted to 
just do nothing pretty much and it really made me think about where I was headed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I just started walking one day. And that's, that was the catalyst. I started walking and changed my diet. Wow. It's a lifestyle. Absolutely. The thing that struck me the most about your story was you had your first salad, was it two years ago you two said? Years yeah, ago. two years ago. I was not a veggie eater. I would eat greasy, uh, fast food all the time. I worked around an area that had every fast food place you oh, can yeah. think of. Now I love broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, What are your everything. thoughts on okra? I have actually have never had okra. Don't do it. it. Don't do it. I've never had okra. It's amazing. <laughs> do it to yourself. My favorite. So the small rewards, you're, you walked out in these glorious high heels. Yes. When you were, were you at your maximum weight, was that a motivating factor for you? It was like, I want to wear these things. I want to I I, I walk around like this. I did. I wanted to wear like the nice skinny jeans and have like cute clothes and shop in the junior section, but I couldn't. I didn't fit in those sections, so I had to go in the women's size. It was hard back then. And just the other day, it was hard going to the gym. Um, it was... I felt fatigued and I was like, I don't want to go, but as soon as I start going, I, I forget about it. And I get off the treadmill or I get done for my run and I just feel great. Absolutely. It's, well, you look great. You look Thank amazing. You. Thank you. So